Hi guys, it's me. So today I went ahead and just filmed this look for you. Just like a nice summer look. Nothing too crazy. Just have some lashes, light shadow, bright lip. So if you want to see how I got this look, go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so I already did my skincare. Um, so the next thing is I'm going to prime with this. The Photo Finish by Smashbox. Okay, I'm going to let that set in for just a second. And I am going to go ahead and put on my foundation. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I am in the shade 4.5. I just go straight on the face. I don't want to waste it just by putting it right on the sponge. I'm going to use a Real Technique sponge. Um, honestly, it's buildable to more of like a medium coverage. I have to be really careful not to put any foundation on the brows because they're healing from microblading. It's um, been like seven days, so I still need to be careful. All right, that's pretty good coverage for me. If anything, I would probably just go over a couple spots with concealer. Um, but I am, speaking of concealer, gonna go ahead and use the Magic Star Concealers by Jeffree Star. So this one right here, let me just tell you, I had a really hard time with the colors. Let me find the other shade because I have two shades. Hang on a second. So originally what happened was is my sister and I were going to get these concealers and we were really excited to try them out. We were looking online at all the swatches. There are so many pictures and videos of the swatches and we were going back and forth with like C8 and C5 and like I thought I was C5 and then she thought she was C8 but then we were looking like I said at the pictures and then we noticed that you know hey you know what maybe we'll go with C3 for me and then C6 for her. Long story short she's more olive I'm kind of like neutral. I could go both ways, olive neutral. So I went with C3, which is this one right here. She went with C6, uh, this one right here, C6. So light, it's so light for her. Me, I can get away with uh, the C6 for sure. It worked better on me than on her, so she can't even use them. She wasn't too big on the formula though either everyone's going to be different. Not everybody's going to like the same thing. So I, she was just like, you know, go ahead and take my C6. And so now I have both basically long story short. I have both foundation colors. This one is a little light, but the reason why I wanted his um, concealers in the first place was because I wanted it to be like a brightening effect. So I thought that that's what was going to give me. The C3 gives that for me because it's so light. The C6 is definitely more of my skin color. This is like the perfect, if you want to just conceal in your my complexion, go with the C6. If you, like I said, if you want to just conceal, you don't want anything brightening. You just want to go ahead and conceal and make it look flawless and seamless. His formula is awesome. It's bomb. I highly recommend it. Here, you'll see. I'm going to use it right now. I'm actually going to do both colors. Yeah, I felt bad because she wanted these, but then when she used the formula, she just did not she was not liking the formula it was a it was setting into her lines for me it didn't do that which was really weird and she has like a little dry spot right here and it was clinging onto the patchiness of the dry spot but so well, I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about this for a little bit this is the packaging I'm sure you guys have seen it already but it's so cool it has a star up top there you go now you can see it cool packaging it's kind of deceiving though because you think you're getting way more product than you really are. These were, oh, let me see. I think these were $22 each. Let me see. Yeah, so the Magic Star setting powder. Okay, I got the powder. And then I got the two concealers. So they're all three of them were $22. When you are looking at the formula, for me, bomb, but I have to say, I feel like I got gypped. The actual product amount inside is not like, no, no. And I wish I would have checked. Here, let me show you, let me just compare. I have these three concealers. Oh shoot. 
Okay, I have these three concealers right here. I have the MAC. I have way more, but this is just the three that I grabbed. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have the Tarte Shape Tape. You already know you have to have this. Then I have the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. Okay, Urban Decay has five milliliters. Okay, Tarte Shape Tape has 10 milliliters. That's double, double right here. Then I have the MAC, which is nine milliliters. So nine, 10, five. These are all about the same price of, or maybe even less of this. Guess how much is in here? 3.4. You have 3.4 milliliters. I'm not being a hater. Yes, of course, the packaging, you're going to be paying for the packaging. Yes, the actual formula for me works bomb. But I feel like we should have gotten more. That's just my opinion. I know you see a lot of these videos and everyone loves them, raves about them. But I'm looking at also the price. I think that's pretty pricey. $22 for this? No. I think, and I love Jeffree Star. I love him. Like, I met him. He's awesome. He's nice. I love, um, actually, this is the first, uh, this is the first um, purchase that I've ever made from his company. I have to say, I wish that he would have either maybe charged us like 16 bucks, 17 bucks, um, or given us some more of the formula. Because you do, you, you feel like you're getting way more just because you have a double glass. So I had to say that. Also, the powder. Love the powder. It gives you such a seamless finish. It makes everything just look so smooth and filtered and it's brightening, but it's not crazy brightening. Like it's just like, it's very natural. It's a natural flawless finish is what I like to say. Very, very finely milled. Again, $22. This is what it looks like. I cannot tilt it. And I'll tell you why in a second. But this has 0.353 ounces. 10 grams, 0.353 ounces of product is in this. It was $22. Let's compare. Again, I know the formula is bomb, but let me just show you. This is my Chanel translucent powder. I know it's, it's probably, I think, double the price of this, but guess how much you're getting? You're getting 30 grams of powder in this. You're getting triple the amount of powder in this for I think maybe double or 2.5 times the price. This is Chanel. This is not Jeffree Star. This is not, you know, all the other brands of course are prestige as well, like Laura Mercier, Translucent Setting Powder. Um, that I don't have that, but I, I think it's just a little bit less than this. It's not a third. It's not a third of this. So again, price point, mm, no. I don't think the price point is where it's at with these, but I do think the formula is bomb. Now let me tell you why I can't tilt it. Okay, so you see in here how there's like a little opening. Okay, so I can't even open this and I I got the pet I got this closed like there's like a little sticker that shuts the see everything is coming up now there's a little um closed sticker right so when you when you purchase it you have to peel off that sticker to get the product out mine came with the sticker okay don't get me wrong but it came like this oh my gosh you can't even see it I, all their product was there the product fell out and into my box. The box that it came with, which is this. It came in this box right here. And the product was all in there. You can still kind of see it. The product was all in there. And if you can see, there's a double layer of it. Of the packaging, there's a double layer. So you have like the sifter part and then you have the actual bottle. There's about like a milliliter opening right there. So it wasn't sealed shut. 
so my product is falling out. So I can't put it in a drawer. I have to keep it on my desk. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I tried to reach out to him, tried to see if they could send me another one because I can't store it in my drawer, but I got nothing. I tried, I tried to email them like, I want to say three times I emailed them and I got nothing. So I'm kind of stuck with it at this point. Um, again, I'm just trying to put it back into the sifter, but I can't even close it. Like I, I think you're able to turn it and then shut the other side, but I can't do it because there's so many, there's so much product in here. So anyways, now that I told you guys about that, let me go ahead and apply so you can see what it looks like. So C6 was a pretty cool applicator. Just like that. Why is everything so bright? Maybe I need to turn down my brightness. Hang on a second. That's better. Sorry. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I'm just gonna apply it right on. Again, that's C6. I'm not gonna go in with the C3 just yet, so I'm just gonna quickly blend it. See how it just blends in so quickly, so nicely. It just really gets the job done so fast. I'm just gonna go ahead and put, I have to be careful with my brows, you guys. See how fast that blended? Wow. And it looks like my skin. Like I don't, like I have dryness right in my inner, like right in my inner corner right here. It's not prominent. It literally looks like I have nothing on, which, but it brightens. It's, wow, I love it. And then I'm going to go in with the C3. You only need a little bit. And then I'm going to do a little bit here. You already know. I'm going to put a little bit there. I'm going to bring it a, a little bit more in. Inward on my nose. So again, I'm going to go in with this. I just threw out my beauty blender because it smelled really bad. And I clean it all the time, but it smells funky. So what are you guys doing for Mother's Day? Are you guys gonna take your mom to somewhere nice? Are you gonna do something for her? Are you gonna clean for her? Cook for her? your daddies. Doesn't matter what day of the year it is, you always gotta take care of your family. I'm pretty dry right here, so it does kind of pick up as you can, can you see that? I don't know. Let me see. It's kind of picked up on my patchiness right here. See how like flawless it looks? Let me turn down the light even more so you could see it. See? Dude's a genius. He knows what he's doing. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is apply my uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer right here. I should probably zoom you guys out. My bad. Alright. I'm gonna go in with this. They only have one shade that comes with this. Do not throw this out if you guys ever get this. It keeps the product from drying out. And then I'm gonna go in with my Shiseido brush right here. This is their foundation brush. It's very compact. You want something that's dense. I use this all the time and it doesn't even look like I use it. Look at the... Hmm? 
I'm just going to use it to bronze up my skin. Now you put this product on before you do any powders. See how that works? So it's pretty sunny out today, but it's freezing. Like it looks so nice, but no, it's deceiving you guys. I can't believe it's the middle of May and it still feels so cold out. That's crazy to me. I'm just gonna do a little bit under here. You guys see how the how it's like so flawless? They need to expand on the shades. Like I said, it's one universal shade for this bronzing mousse. I feel like it's a cream. So yeah, after I'm done with that, I just like to go in with just a bigger, just to kind of blend everything more, just a little bit. You could have just went in with this if you wanted something like a little bigger, like this Morphe foundation brush. All right, then what I'm gonna do is use the powder. I'm gonna dip it just a little bit. I don't like to use too much powder. Go right underneath. I'm gonna go in with my Lorac Pro palette. This is so old, but you guys, check, check this out. I tore it up. Like I tore it up. If you just want one palette, I don't know anyone out there that only wants just one palette, but if you want just one palette, you guys, come on. Like, how could you say no to this? You have your nude shade, your cream. Okay, so this cream shade, well, sorry, this is white. This white shade, this is my all over like setting shade, cream. There's like nothing left. Like there's barely anything left. There you go, now I can see a little bit better. This one I love, it's like a pink, sparkle one it's a little a little bit chunkier this one is amazing if you want like a brown smoky eye this nice purple but you don't want it too dark but then if you do you have this option this black that i dug my finger in awesome this black right here i feel like palettes need a black shade how could you have a palette and not have a black unless you're a makeup lover like me and has a million different palettes if you want, like I said, one go-to palette, you have to have, you have to have a black shade. So this right here, oh my gosh, you guys, this shade. I love these like terracotta brown, just like ebony, burgundy. I don't even know how to explain it. This burgundy shade, love that. You guys love this shade. And then you just have all your browns. You have your mauve tones, you got your mirror. It's not too heavy. It's perfect for travel. Yeah. So anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm just gonna throw in the, um, well first I'm gonna go in with the cream shade and kind of set my whole eye with it. I'm not doing like a crazy look. I just want something pretty simple. These brows though, these brows. Let's not talk about these brows. Even though I started talking about them, let's just not even get into it. I know there's two different shades on them. Oh Lord, help me. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with taupe right here. I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna use the same brush. This is, by the way, the Morphe M433 brush. Is it focusing? Oh, now you wanna focus. Oh, okay, now you wanna focus. See? It's just like a fluffy brush going on with taupe because as you can see it's one of my favorites going into the crease you know who i've been watching a lot lately and i never knew who she like i never seen her videos before but you guys let me know if you've watched her videos 
I love her. She her her name is Sniper S S Sniper Wolf. I can't believe I've never watched her videos. She is so funny. She's been like playing these. Um, well, I've been watching. I bet you these videos are old. I don't even know if they're old or not. For Omegle, she's been on Omegle, and she would just like mess with the people on there. I didn't even know what Omegle was until I watched Carly Steele on there. But no, the, this girl is so funny. Like the, the people that she meets on there. Man, I could watch those videos all day long. She needs to make more of them. I'm going to go in with this light bronze shade right here. I'm not going to use a brush with it though. I'm going to just use my... See? I'm just going to apply it right on the lid. I'm going to grab some more. It's so creamy. Oh my gosh. And sometimes um, I forget, um, it's not that I forget about this palette, but sometimes I, I just have so many palettes now. And I never was a palette person, but recently I just, within the last year, I bought a lot. I'm just going to blend, I'm going to blend everything together with this, um, where is it? right here this Chanel blending brush something fluffy I'm gonna just blend it what was I saying oh yeah palettes I've been buying palettes within the last year and it all started with the Shannon XO remix palette I've been watching it a lot I've been watching her videos for years and her palette I loved so much so I, I bought that one and then ever since I bought that palette I've just been like experimenting with other ones and I have probably I don't have like to me it's a lot but to others it's probably nothing but actual eyeshadow palettes I probably have like five eyeshadow palettes but this one's my most used one the Lorac Pro palette and sometimes I just would like to experiment with other ones I'm gonna go with the M432 brush with Morphe, this flat one, one with Garnet. This one right here. Grab this flat shadow brush. And I'm just going to apply it on my lower lash line. So yeah, I just keep going back to this Lorac palette. Just going in underneath the eye. On the lower lash line. Going to really get in there. I still have the powder from Jeffree Star on. I think it's been done. <laughs> it's been done, you guys. I'm going to apply it also. I'm going to use put it on the top lid as well. She kind of, Sniper Wolf kind of makes me want to go on Omegle just to see what will happen. <laughs> But the stuff she says to these people, man, I don't even know. Half the stuff I don't, I wouldn't even think of just to say. It's funny because some of them know who she is. Like if she was, if she popped up on mine, I wouldn't know who she was. Well, now I do, but I wouldn't have known. I would have been like, hey girl. What are you doing on here? Who are you? What's up? What's your name? Where are you from? All right. I'm not going to put any shadow right underneath the brow. I know I just used that, um, the cream shade all over and that's enough for me. I don't want to get too close to the brows. I think I already probably got makeup in them. Oh, well. I hope it's okay. Done with your eyeshadow. Now what I'm going to do is dust off my under eye uh, setting powder with a pointy, fluffy, soft. You want something soft. Whatever you have, just make sure it's soft and gentle. I'm going to really, really wipe off what I got going on. See how it just brightened up the face and it just makes everything look so seamless and flawless. No patchiness. Just, just this patchiness right here from the concealer. But honestly, I need to exfoliate and then this is that light look for um, 
that comment with the, the subscriber. I can't speak. You said you wanted a light look. So this is a light look in my book. If you want lighter, let me know. I can do that too for you. I hope you like this look so far though. It's just really subtle. So what I'm going to do now is just take a bigger uh, brush, a big powder brush. I'm going to use his powder, same powder, just a little bit. This really sucks that it's all over the place though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to set everything real quick. Just, <coughs> just the light dusting. Spilled half of it, so I'm going to pick it up off the desk. Because I didn't spend 22 bucks on a small wet and wild jar. I can't even hate though, because I have a feeling that once I finish this, I'm probably going to buy another one. <laughs> so I need to just shut up. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this Rimmel Natural bronzer right here using the same brush I'm not contouring today you guys I'm just bronzing the face because like I said it's cold outside and I'm tired of this weather and I want to feel like I'm getting a little suntan on my pale face on my C3 slash C6 Jeffree Star Concealer face. But seriously though, you guys, I know I'm being funny. If you want to get his, his concealers, make sure you, if you think you're like a C5, probably not. You're probably like a C8 or a C10. So really investigate. Even on those like YouTube videos that you watch, like even when the girls are swatching it on their arms, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a C3. No. Was not a C. Well, I guess I kind of. I'm a mix between the two. I got lucky with that one though. I'm gonna go in with this MAC Warm Soul Mineral Blush. An oldie but a goodie. This is a really pretty, like, it, it's literally a blush color. Like it's like a brown, peachy, just really warm, hence the name, Warm Soul. But it's like a, a luminous type of blush. Like it's, it just gives you that, just the enough color that you need. I'm going to go in with just a regular brush, you guys. Just grab any brush. Something a little smaller on the cheeks. That's enough. Then what I'm going to do is cover this thing up. And hope that nothing falls out. Oh, too late. Mascara. Lash Accelerator by Rimmel. This is really nice if you have... Well, let me show you the mascara wand. Pretty thin. It's not the... Uh, like the rubber. It's not that. This is really good if you have a little harder like to reach lashes. You get in there pretty easily. It doesn't take too much effort. And it makes sure to coat it makes sure to coat all the lashes with it. So you don't really miss anything. I'm doing my lower lashes first. Just so that way when I do my top lashes. Nothing will get on the skin. It'll be dry by then. I'm doing this without a mirror. What am I doing? Am I getting it? I think I am. Alright. Now I'm looking. I screwed up. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just do a light coat at the top, just so I'm, I'm going to apply falsies today. So I'm going to 
just make sure I coat enough so I could see the lashes and that way they could blend in with your actual fake lashes. I don't need it to be perfect. If you guys got the concealers, the Jeffree Star concealers, let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Was your color on point? Are you satisfied with how much you're receiving and the price? Leave me a comment below. Okay, going in with this Ardell Double Up Lashes. I never tried them before. It's 206. They look really cool because they have like the, the clusters. See? So we will see if I need to trim them. I will be back. Alright guys, I'm back. So I'm going to go in. Well, I have my lashes on now as you can see. They're really nice. I love the shape of them. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and brighten up my uh, waterline with this uh, Scandal Eyes by Rimmel. It's in the shade Nude. Make your eyes look bigger. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with some liner. Ah. My people, I'm back and I'm better than ever. Camera died. So basically what I did was I just used this fuchsia lip liner by Chanel. It's fuchsia, like I said. But I just lined my lips with it. Here, I'll do it again. Line my lips with it. I filled it in just a little bit like that. Went in with Max Flat Out Fabulous. Very beautiful, beautiful color. I'm just going to reapply. It's pretty drying, so make sure you moisturize beforehand. What I'm going to do is actually fix the band on the lashes by applying just a little bit of liquid liner. If you ever see that, because I use House of, um, I used, uh, no, I'm sorry, I use a different lash glue that, that dries black. So you can kind of see it on the lashes. So what I'm going to do is go over it with a little bit of liner. Not, not a lot, because I don't, I really don't want that look today. The lashes kind of give me that look. gonna go over it just a little bit we're good we're back in business now is the time to apply some highlight I'm not gonna do that right now just because I have a whole box of Sephora stuff and I got like I think three highlighters I just really want to try them out so what I'm gonna do is just spray my face with this NYX dewy finish I'm gonna try not to get it on the brows I think I got it on the brows. But yeah, this is the finished look. Minus the highlight. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Please um, comment down below what you thought about the Jeffree Star Concealers. Are you cool with it? Do you think the formula is really good? Is it worth the money? Hey, sorry guys. I don't know what happened to the last clip, but basically I was just saying to leave your thoughts below um, about the Jeffree Star Concealers and then also the powder. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.